today's destruction from Link is the ball. I thought he was chewing on a bone. Clearly he was not, and he's just puked some of it up. So I now need to sort this out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Monday morning. My car, Spog, my van has just been picked up. It is quarter to ten. Spog is going for his MOT. Hoping he will pass. I really don't want to have to spend any more money on him right now. He has cost me £3,000 just in the last few months with repairs. So let's have everything crossed for smooth sailing through the MOT. Um, I'll show you what I'm about to do. I have just found that Timmy has pooed in his cage. Um, but that's given me the excuse to move the cages out, hoover everything behind, quickly do a mop underneath, disinfect the insides of the cages, just make them smell nice, wash all of the dog bedding and everything and uh, have it all nice and fresh. Hopefully that will reduce some of the dog smell in the house because unfortunately having two dogs does create a bit of dog smell. So um, I'm having to get used to that, but also tackling it because I don't like dog smell, not, you know, nasty dog smells. And then it's raining, very heavy raining on and off today, but I've got some odour neutralizer, special stuff designed for pet urine industrial size type thing and um, I'm going to go and put that, dilute it and pour it around the garden and hopefully that will help out there as well because um, that's annoying me. Uh, right, let me show you. I'm going to hoover behind these crates and I mean to be honest I do move them to hoover but I don't pull them right right out. This is here to stop I put that behind Link's cage for his daytime, not his bedtime. This is not where he sleeps at night. This is his daytime crate. Um, and I have this thick mat, which I drape over and tuck in underneath. I don't know if you can see down there. But that's mainly because he has a tendency to rip at things when he gets a bit stressed. Um, so while we're crate training him, I put that there to protect the walls, basically, and the skirting boards. all cleaned and disinfected I tried to clean that mirror but it's a bit smear smeary that had fallen down in the night so I've put new uh, hooks up and hung that back up it's not really central but it'll be fine um, and then I had to step away because I started to get the paint out and paint along there because all of this needs repainting the ceiling needs repainting but I thought, oh, you know, what? I could just do the coving. <laughs> I could just do that bit there, the picture rail area. So I've just, uh, it's not great. It obviously needs more than one coat, but I've just done along that little section while I was cleaning. And then I will do all of this area over the next few days. Just maybe in the evening, I'll just do one strip or something little and often get through the because this whole place needs completely decorating you see the whole ceiling I've got some hooks up there that I have my Christmas lights on but um yeah all of this needs a good dust and a good paint time to head off for my meeting so I'm going to take an apple and my coke so it looks like it's going to rain again oh dear oh poor little mousey now it's entirely possible actually that this mouse has had poison but it's obviously fallen into the bucket and can't get out it's a bit soggy as I wash the bucket out but I will put Mousy over here and then if he's not eaten anything nasty he can escape there you go Mousy go and dry off somewhere I do suspect he's probably had some poison though because fortunately we got rat bait down I hate I hate it absolutely hate it but we have to do what's right for the farm and they have to put rat bait down because otherwise it would just be overwhelmed with pests and that's not okay when you are producing food hello lovelies hello hello don't chew my fingers got lots of lovely grass to eat haven't you oh yes 
lots and lots of lovely grass to eat. Back to painting again. I am going to start painting the lower walls in here. Some of this is still wet from the creosote. Uh, it's been since Tuesday. So yeah, we're just gonna paint. <laughs> um, just to lighten it up a little bit really. And this is gonna be our adult hub when we've got it completely sorted. My meeting has finished. Chloe and I are out walking Mopsa and Laurie before the rain comes again. And then she wants to come and see the geese, don't you, Chloe? Yeah. So we're going to go back to the house and see the geese. Um, and then we're going out for sort of a lunchy dinner, aren't we? Yeah. A late lunch, early dinner. Um, because mum's left some money for us to go. You want to go to harvest, do you? Yes. Yeah, so we're going out. We're going to be ladies what lunch? You, you need to be photographer. Hold my mm -hmm. camera like that. Right. And I will show you how terribly bad I am at parking. Okay, if I end up in hospital, you've got to call 999 and get it. Okay. Okay. How really bad it is. There you go. <clears throat> 10 out of 10? Yeah. What, in being really bad? <laughs> yeah. How bad was that? just found these clovers and I thought they were a special breed of clover that had serrated leaves but actually I think it's some little bug that's just been eating them. We're back at the bean field and they're all going black now and these are the beans that are inside I'm just trying to work out what type of bean they are and I'm wondering actually Chloe I know exactly what type of bean they are. What? They are magic beans that will grow a beanstalk. <laughs> no? No. Well take them home, plant them in your garden and see if you get a beanstalk. And then you can go and get a golden goose and a golden egg. <laughs> no? And then we can give it you. Yeah, and no, I can have an, hard work I can have a, Yeah, I'll have another goose, because that's what I need in my life is another goose, yeah? <laughs> Although if it lay golden eggs, I think I could probably do with another goose. Chloe and I are now filling up bags with clover and grass so we can go and feed the geese when we've taken the dogs back. Getting them a little treat. We got you some treats on our walk. Okay. Do you want to empty yours in, Chloe? Or you can hand feed some of it if you want to. You're running away from it. We have just got back from mine. Um, we're going to go and get some dinner soon because it's coming up half three. I think I'm working till about six. Got me chocolate. I've just had a cup of tea at my house while we were looking at the animals. Charging up my phone a bit and what have you, but it could do with charging up for a bit longer. So I'm going to do that. The weather's absolutely disgusting. We've just walked home in the rain. Got a little bit soggy. Thankfully, it's not very heavy. Chloe's just gone next door to see a friend for 10 minutes. And then I think we should head off and have an early dinner. I'm not sure what time the restaurant opens, so I'm going to Google it. Dinner time. Don't actually know where to start. Chicken, probably. A bowl for you. A bowl for me. Thank you. Thank you. Time to help ourselves to the salad bar. Pineapple. There you go. Go for it. Mm, do you know I might have a bit of beetroot as well. I haven't had beetroot in ages. What's that? Uh, bacon bits. Oh, nice. They've got raisins and everything. And olives. And onion flakes. Wait, I don't do olives. olives? Uh, they look oh, like they're out of olives. Out. Mm. Coleslaw looks really good. Is it nice? Pasta and butternut sauce, chicken, mashed potato, gravy, and sweet corn. I've come back from babysitting and I have got this, which is a watering can that has a solar light on the top. It's not actual watering can, it's all ornamental. And then that is a cascade of lights. And I don't know whether to put it in my garden 
or in the house choices choices it comes in a small box i'll show you the box it's from amazon and i will leave you a link in the description technically it could go in here couldn't it do that it can have a little sprinkly thing maybe Ooh, turn it around slightly Yeah, maybe I'll put it in there. Yeah, I'm going to put it there and see what it looks like later on. And hopefully the dogs won't eat it. I have had to move this plant because the dogs keep eating it. That's not okay. Now this is the box. That's a picture of it. And yeah, I'll pop the link in the description and the price for you in case it's something that you think is cute and would like to have in your garden or house so this is my animal nasty smells whiffy niffy thing um i'm taking a guess that we think this is probably about a gallon lee has assured me that there's about four liters in a gallon so i've put four of these into that and i've put, topped it up with water and i'm going to go and pour it on bits in the garden um and hopefully it works really well so where i got this from he's got a big like industrial size one for about 39.99 but he said he actually did himself out of money i got this one for 17.99 because he said um he knows it works but this is useful to have it decanted into so that i've got the measurement gauge on there which i didn't have if i bought the big one so i was very grateful to him for that I've done four, three, three watering cans full on the grass, on here. I had noticed all of that was getting really strong with the smell of wee. So they're obviously cocking their legs against that. I won't lie, <laughs> the smell is strong of this stuff. But it's better than dog wee. What are you lot being noisy about? And I wonder if I can actually use it to get rid of the smell on your grass as well. I would say that that pond is the worst offender of the smell, isn't it? There you go. There you go. Isn't it? Plop. There you go. This here needs a mop because goosey friends keep making a big old mess. I've put other disinfectant in that and some very hot water. Time to annoy the geese by giving them another water clean out. Ooh, much to their annoyance. <sighs> Look at that. Well, it had to come out sooner or later. I need to share something with you. I think I have a lettuce fetish. It's quite a lot of lettuce. Either that or my geese have a lettuce fetish. The first time in months I can stand in my garden without the smell of dog wee. It's amazing. I actually do know who has the lettuce fetish. Here girls. Come on them. Lettuce. Yeah, Marjorie. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Dorothy, you want some? Good girl, Marjorie. You're not normally this well behaved. Come on them. Some lettuce. 
lettuce. Here it is in full effect. I think that's quite pretty. I'm glad I got that. And I like it in here as well, so it doesn't get trashed in the uh, in the rain. I might need some more lights like this. It is that time of evening again where I need to say my goodbyes. Um, I do want to say a very quick thank you to all of you who have subbed, for all of you who watch, and for all of you who comment. Um, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, if you haven't yet commented, please do just introduce yourself because it's really lovely getting to know my viewers. Um, and the best way for me to do that is through the comments section. And then I can thank you personally as well for taking the time to watch my little bit of YouTube. So thank you very much to all each and every one of you and I will see you all tomorrow.